Hey, it's um, part two here, and we have a really cool problem. It starts with a quarter circle uh, divided into four different regions. And the uh, task is to show that the area of region one, the blue shaded region, is the same as the area of region three, uh, the red shaded region. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. Uh, if you'd like, pause it and think about it. Uh, but I'm going to start sharing the solution here. So to start, observe that the area of uh, region uh, 2 plus the area of region 3 is equal to the area of region 3 plus the area of region 4. It looks pretty obvious from the picture, but let's state it uh, formally. And from here, uh, by cancellation, we can uh, conclude that the area of uh, regions 2 and 4 um, is the same. So the area of region 2 is equal to the area of region 4. It looks obvious from the visual, but we have just now showed uh, rigorously that that's the case. Furthermore, if we say that um, the uh, radius of the quarter circle is x, then uh, we can say the following, which is that the area of um, the four regions added together will have to be the area of the quarter um, circle uh, with radius x, which is a quarter pi x squared. Yeah? Okay, cool. Next, um, we'll add regions 2 and 3 and say that the area of regions 2 and 3 will have to be an eighth of pi x squared. And um, if you think about why, well, first of all, because uh, the area of regions 2 and 3 together form a semicircle, we know that we'll have to do 1, one half and then pi and then radius squared. Uh, but notice that since we said that the quarter circle has radius x, the semicircle here will have to have radius one half x. And so doing all that and simplifying, uh, we can conclude that uh, regions uh, 2 and 3 together have area uh, 1 eighth of pi x squared. Uh, and we had said that the four regions together had area 1 fourth pi x squared. And therefore, uh, if we take this uh, equation for uh, the area of the quarter circle and subtract from it the area of regions 2 and 3, then we can uh, say that the area of regions 1 and 4 together is um, 1 eighth of pi x squared. But wait, we said that the area of regions 2 and 3 together was 1 eighth pi x squared, and we just said now uh, that 1 eighth pi x squared is also equal to the area of regions 1 and 4 together. So that means that the area of regions 2 and 3 together is equal to the area of regions 1 and 4 together. And this is the moment where we call on this uh, fact we stated earlier, which is that the area of uh, region 2 is equal to the area of region 4. Because now we're going to substitute on the right side here um, for region 4 with region 2. Because region 2 and 4, as I just said, have um, the same area from what we said much earlier in the video. So that means now uh, that again, because region 2 has the same area as region 4, we can take this previous uh, statement and say region 2 plus region 3 is equal to region 1 plus region 2. Where again, we've substituted for region 4 with region 2. Yeah? Okay, but then since uh, this very last equation here has region 2 on both sides by cancellation, we conclude what we had wanted to conclude long ago, which is that the area of region 1 is equal to the area of region 3. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Uh, many more fun problems to come.